The transitional epithelium. The transitional epithelium is also called as urothelium because of its location. It is a multi-layered epithelium and it is 4 to 6 layer thick and it differs from stratified squamous epithelium as the surface cells are not squamous. So you can see the stratification of the layers. Now let's talk about all these layers. The deepest cells are columnar or cuboidal in shape. As you can see, these are the columnar or cuboidal cells. So this is the deepest layer. The middle layers are made up of the polyhedral or the pear shaped cells as you can see. So these are the polyhedral or the pear shaped cells. And the cells in the surface layer of this epithelium are large and often they are shaped like an umbrella or a dome shape. So these are the surface cells which are in the shape of umbrella or a dome cells. So you can see the flat nuclei in the umbrella shaped cells or the dome shaped cells on the surface view of the transitional epithelium. And remember, this transitional epithelium lines most of the part of the urinary tract. That's why it is called as the urothelium. This transitional epithelium is present in the urinary bladder and so the cells in the urinary bladder can be stretched without losing their integrity. And while this epithelium is stretched, these all multi-layered epithelium appears to be thinner and the cells become flattened. So now let's talk about the location of the transitional epithelium. The transitional epithelium is found in the renal pelvises and the calluses. They are present in the ureter, in the urinary bladder and the part of urethra. So because of this location and distribution of the transitional epithelium, it is also called as urothelium. And now let's talk about the function of the transitional epithelium. Remember, in the surface epithelium, the plasma membrane is unusual. So for the transitional epithelium, the surface epithelium is lined by the umbrella or the dome-shaped cells. And there, the plasma membrane is unusual. So, the structure of the plasma membrane is made up of lipid molecules, bilayer lipid molecules and here, embedded in the lipid layer, there are special glycoproteins present and it is believed that these glycoproteins make the membrane impervious and resistant to the toxic effect of the substances which are present in the urine. So, the glycoproteins, those are present in the bilipid layer of the plasma membrane of the surface epithelial cells of the transitional epithelium are believed that they make the membrane impermeable and resistant to the toxic substances which are present in the urine. So this is all about the transitional epithelium. For the revision, the transitional epithelium is a multi-layered epithelium that is 4 to 6 cell thick. It is also called as urothelium because of its distribution and it differs from stratified squamous epithelium by the surface cells are not squamous. The deepest cells are columnar and cuboidal as you can see it here. The middle layer cells are the polyhedral or the pear shaped cells and the surface layer or the top layer cells are the umbrella or the dome shaped cells. And remember, the transitional epithelium is present in the urinary bladder and the cells of the transitional epithelium can be stretched considerably without losing its integrity. And when stretched, these 4-6 to six cell layer thick transitional epithelium becomes flattened. And coming to the location, the urothelium or the transitional epithelium is present in the renal pelvis and the calluses, the ureter, urinary bladder and some part of the urethra. And coming to the function, the glycoproteins which are embedded in the plasma membrane of the surface epithelium of the transitional epithelium are believed that they make the membrane impervious and resistant to the toxic effects of the substances which are present in the urine and they provide protection to the adjacent tissues of the urinary bladder. So guys, this is all about the transitional epithelium. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. If anyone is seeking quick and effortless admission in these following countries, you can contact me on Instagram at knowing underscore anatomy. Link is in the description.
and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.